Today we're going to be making a painting, Life is Better on the Lake, with wood letters and tree. I'll show you how I did it right now. Okay, so here's the one coat. I'm now going to do a second coat. So I did the second coat. Looks good. It will probably need a third coat because I can still see streaks. And better yet, if you don't want to do a painting, you can actually make your own chalkboard using chalkboard paint. Just a tip. <laughs> Just a tip. So here's the second coat. I will need a third coat. So my third coat is dry and now I'm going to paint the frame. I think it looks really good. I know it's really dark and you can't see, but third coat's a term. Um, I'm going to paint the frame lime green because my kitchen is lime green. So, start with a little bit. Might need a little bit more too, but I might want to have it like rustic looking. So I'm going to do that and show you how it looks in the morning. There's my first coat of green, and I still have to do the bottom. I just didn't want to get my chair. I'm probably going to have to do a second coat, and of course, I have to do the sides as well. Don't forget the sides, it will look weird. So we'll see it in the morning. And there's the first coat of the frame of the lime green. I didn't do the edges yet. You can't forget those edges, I tell ya. Uh, but it's looking really good. I have to give one more coat. Oops. I have to do the edges as well. So I did my second coat of green lime green paint. Now I just stenciled my words on with pencil and I'm going to go over it like that. It's best if you don't think you have good judgment with paint to stencil it first. So I'm just stenciling it out with paint now and now I'm going to make the letters the way I want. Make it nice and straight and stuff like that. That's my trick. Look like birch tree, birch bark trees. So it's getting late, and I just want to relax because the baby's in bed. Um, but I just stenciled on all of it, and I'll do it more tomorrow when I have time. But as you can see, how I'm doing it and making it look like wood, and that's how I want it throughout the whole thing, and how I did that right there is with this awesome pen right here. It's a, a marker and it's gold. So it works wonders actually. I'll see if I can do it a little bit again just to show you. And I try not to touch the bottom because I did that and it's not dry yet. So I just go around, make it look like wood. And now that has it round. Trace it. Just make it look like wood. You don't have to go and do the whole thing. Now I'm wanting it like birch bark, so birch bark has these little things on them all the time. You know, like the. I don't know what birch bark trees are. They are the ones that you can rip like paper and it's pink inside. My sister and I used to actually draw on them. It doesn't hurt the tree or nothing, it's just, it's almost like paper and you can actually write on it and everything. It's really cool. So 
This is the eye I'm making it look like branches all put together. And that's my wood. So I'm just trying to finish up the lettering. I painted it all the way I want. You just have to have a visionary in your head to make it look like wood. I don't know if you guys can see it. I go with this stuff first. And I put the little dots. There you go. So I'm done all the lettering. They're all oh, you can't see it. Sorry guys. But anyway, I'm done the lettering now. You take a white eraser and not just a white eraser or the make marks. You take some of the pencil marks off. I don't have pencil on. See the pencil marks here. There you go. So I'm done the lettering. Now I think it's too plain for myself, so I'm gonna free draw, free paint, I should say, a nice bark tree, just like the letter. And I'm going to start with the paint. Oh. Just going to trace it. What? Nothing. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just doing the part of the big tree first, and then I'll do the limbs. So I'm going to stop right there, because I don't know how far I want to go up yet. And now I'm just going to fill this in. And I'll do it with a bigger brush. Because it will go faster that way. Make sure you clean your brushes after every use, and then you don't have to keep buying more, unless you want to keep buying more, that's up to you. But I'm going to get doing that, because it will take a little bit. So I just went so far with the big brush, and I'm going to go with the white brush on the end so I don't hardly get it on the corners here. And if you do, you can touch it up with the black. It's not that hard. <laughs> My boyfriend and baby are in the background, sorry. But that's life, right? And see how I'm going close to the edge. And I'm going to keep doing that. Now I filled it all in. Um, I'm not going to do a second coat or nothing because a tree always has, you know, marks and stuff in it. And this is going to be the top of the tree. So I'm going to even put branches at the bottom here. Um, because I don't want it 
the start from here. It's just like a say basically from the top of a tree. I want to look at it like that. And you just paint along just like you did sort of with the lettering. And you can make them as big as you want, but you know always it gets bigger and smaller if you want to make it look like a real tree. And then just gotta keep putting different things on it, right? And you put as many or as less as you want. It doesn't have to be too realistic, and you don't want to go too much to the letters. So. And I'm not putting leaves or anything on it, I just want a bark tree. So I'm going to keep going with that. Okay, so. And of course, as it, when you go up to the top, the branches are going to go smaller, not as big. And there's my bebe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you get sneak peeks of her on my channel. That's it. <laughs> so I just keep going. Right, you from on your mat. That is your dishes. So I'll get bigger, more branches on them. And also, once you go up here, you're going to have a lot more branches and you're going to thin it out. So I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to, I know that I want to go further now on top. That's how it's looking so far. And I'm going to thin this out. Stop again because it's basically the top of the tree. And on the top of the tree, as you can see, spans out like that. What am I supposed to say? And I'm done the tree with just the white paint. All I have left to do is the gold uh, trim. And that's what it looks like. So, you can see better in the dark. You can see the writing better in the dark. But anyway, uh, the paint's all dry, uh, dry on the tree. And now I'm just tracing it with that marker. So, I'm just going to keep tracing. And you want to go over and like loop to do like things wants to go in behind because that's how a tree is, right? See, like this one's in behind, so I'm gonna go like this and then it gets behind. See, so you just keep tracing the tree the way you want it, and then we're gonna do the um. The bark and everything later. So I'm just going to keep tracing for now and I'll get back to you. So now I traced it all and now we'll be getting to do the bark. Um, another tip too is you know when like a branch or something comes out, make it out more and make it look like the tree. Now we'll start with the uh, bark. And of course, just like the wood on the letters, it's the same thing. Little branches will be uh, a bit different. I won't have as much. 
Let's go. And just keep going like that on the branches and see how it looks. And once you get here, I'll show you here. Because I'll just keep doing that with the branches. What I'm going to do is... What I want to do here is make like a hole. You want to make a hole, you just go. This is part of the tree, so. See how it's looking? So I'll show you how it looks in a minute. And there you have it. Your own life is better on the lake painting. Hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it all helped. And I would love to see your guys' creations as well. Thank you.